Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda John and I'm a life and style blogger at Strawberry Chic and today I was going to show you guys behind the scenes setup of my filming room and share all the equipment that I use to make my videos here on YouTube. So I use my guest bedroom as my filming room because it has the best lighting and the largest window. So I always kind of film or between 12 and 3 for the best lighting on the weekends. And this is probably enough lighting but I also have additional lights over here. I bought these on Amazon and I will link the exact ones I use down in the description box. But I kind of use those to even out all the lighting coming in from the window because that's kind of one side of my face so then these are kind of coming at me from the other side to even everything out and I never have them pointed directly on me they will definitely wash you out so I have this one elevated above me and just kind of going up um, in this direction I don't want it shining directly on me and then this one is to brighten up the background and then there's my large mirror, which I use to take all my outfit photos. I actually just got that recently from Home Goods. I, I needed a lot larger mirror, so I finally upgraded mine. This is what you guys typically see in my background. This is my shelf from Ikea, and I have all my pretty girly things on there. I do kind of mix it up every now and then, but for the most part, it stays kind of along this theme. And then my clothing rack is also from Ikea. I think it was $12. And I do like to kind of keep it kind of cohesive as far as the colors. So I have whites, pinks, and blues. And then just pretty, like, this tool skirt. And then these to kind of give some texture. These boxes are from Sugar Paper, I think. A collab, but you can't get them anymore. So I do also use this clothing rack just to keep up with new pieces. I need a style on my blog, but when I'm shooting, I trade it out for kind of this cohesive look because these are kind of like the colors I use on my Instagram. You guys don't have to be that extra, but um, I pretty much keep these clothes on here all the time in addition to new clothes. And then this is a closer look at my shelf. I have done a post on this. So I will link it below and then here are some fresh flowers from Costco that I placed here. As for like where I sit, I actually use this bench because I can put things on it on both sides of me. This typically is right at the window right there. But if I know I'm filming, I kind of just leave it here as well because it's just convenient. So I always have my computer by me because sometimes I'll do a blog post in addition to it and I might have already written that out so I use that as my script for my videos. And then I need water and then there are my diplomas randomly hung up there in case you were wondering. And then here is my camera setup. So I actually just upgraded my tripod finally. I had, I don't remember what what it was. I will link it down below because I honestly hated that tripod. So I finally got this one and I'm much happier with it. This is from Manfrotto. And it's just a lot easier to adjust and to get my camera off and on. This is the camera that I use for blogging and I do have a new lens on it. I think this is a 35 millimeter. So this is the Sony a6000 and I do use this for blogging as well. And then I got this Sony mic. This was like an open box, really cheap mic. Sometimes it does kind of make weird noises and I probably should upgrade it eventually, but for now it does the job. So if you do want to film on this camera, a couple tips, it will overheat really easily. So I always move the screen away from it. And then I also keep this open just to prevent it from overheating. And I haven't had any issues since doing that. But when I first started and I had this, up against this it would always overheat and it also will stop after 30 minutes and I think that's most cameras I'm not sure there's all my makeup on here that's cute 
So I have the center of the camera lined up in between those two and that's typically where I sit. I usually have Tim honestly come in and make sure it's set up correctly just because I have no way of seeing myself which is kind of good if you are new at YouTube because it's really hard to not look at yourself when you're filming so I've never really had that issue when filming on this because I can't see myself. So. The only downside is you will need somebody to adjust it or I have shot myself where Tim's at work and then I'll just sit down, um, push start, and then run and sit down and then come up and stop it and then relook at it to make sure I like how it's looking and that just takes a lot more time but it is doable. So as for the settings, I shoot on the movie setting and then I also have my camera adjusted to be a little more exposed and that just gives it a lighter look. Sometimes it can look too exposed so you do want to check that depending on how much lighting is coming in from your windows and all that that might not be necessary but for me I do like definitely brighter photos and a really bright background. I also let's see so here's a look at my settings just in case you have this camera and want to check it out. I have it on the F is 4.5. I don't honestly even know what a lot of this means. But I don't really adjust it other than the exposure. I kind of have it set up. The aperture and all that to what I like for my photos. And it helps with editing and all that. So there is a better look. If you have this camera or are wondering what settings I shoot on. And I need to wipe my screen. Also, if you can, you want to shoot in RAW, that will give you the best quality. And especially if you're taking vlog photos, it helps. Like, you can make so much more minor adjustments when you're going to edit. Also, a few tips I've learned is to always have an extra battery on hand because um, you always, like, drain battery so quickly. And then I also have more than one memory card that helps, too, when you run out of space. So... I always have an extra battery charged or charging as I'm shooting because every time I have to switch it out. Alright guys, so that is all the equipment that I use. If you have any questions, then just give me a comment down below and I'll be happy to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I'll see you in my next video.